was on the borderline I was just a falling down I had all my hopes pinned down on you I always had the end inside Always felt the hunger from the night I saw all my dreams burn up with you What's going on YouTube? It's quarter to five. Actually got some sleep last night, which is rare. <laughs> and uh, just waiting with everybody else. Get on the plane. Head into Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. First time here. Hopefully not the last. I <laughs> uh, got in a little early which is awesome and uh, gonna meet up with Ashley. She's gonna pick me up. Actually my, uh, my laptop died while I was on, while I was working on videos and like answering emails and stuff so. If you don't know, I have a secret love of dinosaurs. My really good friend Caden is aware of this so this is super badass. Downtown Pittsburgh. In, in their academic college. Uh, What's going on? I got Ashley with me. She came pick me up from the okay. airport. And uh, we're doing a little this way, as I don't, I'm gonna get hit by a car. We were just <laughs> discussing this. We're doing a little uh, mini tour of CMU, so that's exciting. I've never been to Pittsburgh and it's pretty cool. It reminds me a lot of like Philly. Let's I was saying yeah. earlier, it reminds me a lot of Philly, which I like Philly. Philly is a cool place. We were just in Philly not too long ago. But yeah, we're gonna check this place out, get a little feel for the school. Then uh, we might we might hit the gym together, I don't know. I mean, we're gonna see, we're gonna yeah. see. I don't know if I wanna get destroyed by a trainer or not today. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, so Ashley's gonna be my main girl. She'll be helping me out. Get me around, which is awesome. Super appreciative oh, yeah. of it. Oh, yeah. It's really nice Glad when you're you. it's nice when you're not just like dropped off and right. just like, all right, see you later. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna check out the school. But it's you know it's part of the CMU campus. It's been here for a number of years, and um, on occasion they'll change the people out. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. It's, it's like to campus. Yeah, it's like you're you're walking up to your opportunities or something like to, like the sky's the limit or something yeah you know what i mean yep that's exactly. cool yeah, yeah. i mean okay. let's, tell, let's so, do the fence story the fence is like the traditional cornerstone of campus so okay. there are rules to the fence all right so students um take the fence and they can only paint it between the hours of midnight and 6 a.m oh okay and this so is and if they want to keep the fence painted um all day they camp out, so there's usually tents that are posted up next to the fence, and students okay. will camp out all day long <laughs> next to the fence, and they would do shifts so that they could keep the fence and keep whatever they painted on the fence. And so, over the course of the entire year, the fence will acquire layers and layers and layers of paint from students and organizations um, sending you know messages to campus. Okay. Around you know whatever it is that that they support. So okay. It's really cool. It's really cool to see. That is cool. Uh, so like if you're like you know uh, fraternity or something want to do it you'd have like you yeah. paint it your colors yeah. and put your signs on there and yeah. you'd have to be like all right you're shift one shift yeah. two has anyone ever done like a rainbow around yes. pride yeah. yes oh, yeah. that's what i want to see so actually i, was I have that. pictures so we for trans day of remembrance oh we awesome we, had, we took the fence actually we took the fence for an oh, entire week the students ha held it for oh an wow week. Um, That's a lot of like coordination yeah, and yep, effort. Yep. They were really, I was really proud of them and they were really proud of themselves. 
but they painted uh, the trans flag on the fence and they had it up for an entire weekend. That's super awesome. awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool stuff. All right, here at the Hampton Inn, we are number 802. Gonna go check out the room, put our stuff down, change uh, into some gym clothes, because I think we're gonna hit the gym with Ashley, which would be awesome, uh, to get that training in. But if not, I'm sure I can make something else work. So uh, here we go, let's see what a room looks like. All right, guys, we all know how many times it takes me to slide these things. We're gonna see if I can get it on the first try. Let's see. <laughs> Boom. Technically the second try, but it works. <laughs> sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Little workstation. Oh, can never complain about having places to put my crap. Awesome, awesome. A little view of P Town, a little city view, not too shabby. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, we're running late, but we're changed up. We're gonna hit the gym, get a little, a little PT session in. And uh, I don't think I'll be able to record, but I'm excited. Something tells me I might get my ass kicked, so we'll see what happens. Woo! I'm fucking pooped. <laughs> uh, it was a chest and, and arms yeah, right yeah. chest and by man just like calisthenics mixed with weights and bands and I mean I had a blast like it kicked my ass oh, yeah. right like but I had a really good time you know that's what you go there for to yeah. change things up get your ass kicked so wh where was that it's at 101 tr uh, training 101 training check them out Pittsburgh right outside right oh or, yeah strip yeah. district strip district whatever that means if you're around here i'm sure you know exactly what that means but we're gonna go catch some food because we're starving oh yeah all right just got back we had some tacos uh we went to i think it was called uh pits and pints or pints and pits on pits uh it was cool dollar tacos can't complain about that and then i uh, had a a nice little summer ale, which is always nice, kind of wind down. Um, I have some kind of, it, it's still kind of early. It's like almost nine o'clock, so I'm not too tired. I uh, charged up my laptop, however, going to turn this bad boy on and do some edits. Uh, can't really see it, but that's a gorgeous view over there. A little view of Pittsburgh, not too shabby. I did find this awesome cookie. I'm enjoying that. Otherwise, I don't think there's much around here, so I think it'll be up, up to the uh, hotel room, and looks like a working night. Might as well put myself to work, right? <laughs> what is going on, fam? It is April 20th, so my clock on here says it's 8:40, but it's definitely not. It's 11.40, um, I could not fall asleep last night. I didn't think I'd fall asleep till like 2.30 or 3 o'clock. Look up to this beautiful Pittsburgh day. The city's over there that I really can't complain about. So, looks like it's gonna be an awesome day. Ashley's gonna come pick me up at like 3 o'clock. Right now I woke up, um, I went down and got like a free little coffee. And um, I'm editing up a video. And I was curious, whoops. Uh, how many minutes do you think is too long for a vlogging video? Is 15 minutes too long? Is 20 minutes too long? Is 10 minutes too long? You know? I'm curious. I want to know what you guys think. Alright, just put in a request for an Uber. Alright guys, just got to LA Fitness. Um, don't usually come here, but that's okay. I don't usually go anywhere that I... Uh, I go and actually work out or train when I'm visiting places. Ooh, that's dark. There we go. So, you know, hey, it's better than nothing. Something about working out before I go, um, just like, I don't know, I just really like it. I enjoy it. It kind of gets out any nervous energy, pumps me up, gets me ready. So, all right, let's do this workout. Just got back to the hotel. Uh, was no luck finding food so looks like I'll have to eat what I got upstairs and uh, try to find something else around here otherwise 
Um, I just want to say, like, by no means do I have any affiliations with Uber. <laughs> but shit, man, I love Uber. Like, I just love it because you get to meet the locals, you know? Like, only local people are Ubers. And, like, you just, like, have some sweet-ass conversations with them. Like, just where to go to eat, what to check out, you know? They know the city because they're traveling it. So, it's just cool. Shout out to Uber. Pretty much all dressed, just have to put on my jacket. But, uh... Funny story, my toothbrush was up here and I reached to grab something and the toilet bowl was open and my toothbrush went in the toilet bowl. So I went downstairs, got a new one. Woo! Taylor game out. What? What? BTW. 20 bucks Target. Shoes, I think like 30 bucks. This jacket, 30 bucks. And this shirt, Three dollars. Three dollars. Woo! Kid are waiting on the light. <laughs> You're looking nice. Thank you. So we kind of match, actually. I know. I was the like, greens. Sweet, the the green. greens. I love the name of this place. <laughs> the life of having a weirdly spelt name. Remember that fence we were talking about yesterday? The different color today. Someone came in. Reading is fundamental. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Got to see a change. Yeah. Oh, wow, 1914. Cool, thank you. That's me. This is a spot. How many hairs do you have? Oh my god, I. Negative. Liam, I beat you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're here in Pittsburgh, CMU. This is the crew. If anybody wants to be in the video, I'm making a little video. This is the crew here. Everybody was super sweet. Thank you all for coming down. You all are lovely. We had a good time. We actually have some people here who have been like watching the channel for a long ass time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Since it gets better. Yeah. Like, which is crazy. It's like 2012. Yeah, since like. Yeah, from around the world. Around the world. Hi, Saudi Arabia here. That's freaking crazy. Uh, Anybody else have a shout out or anything they want to say? Go Put Penguins. In? Go Penguins. <laughs> all right, all right. Go Flyers. So, so one thing like I um, try to ask is like, what was people's like favorite? part of the presentation because I always want to like make the next presentation better and better and better and better so w does anybody have like a thought about um, what they liked the most so that I could like hone in on that and I we could get a couple of different people's feelings yeah yeah um <laughs> I really like the discussion at the end because I thought it was really meaningful to bring in the stories of the people in the audience, especially about the parent who was talking about her kid and her kid's like transition and things. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really powerful, especially for other people in the room who might be going through similar experiences. Totally. Yeah, I was going to say, bring a cool, affirming parent. <laughs> <laughs> like, definitely not everybody in the audience is going to have cool, affirming parents. Totally, totally. And she was super cool. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, was. like, <laughs> yeah. I think you did a really good job of embodying the title of your presentation about being authentic and just like the whole time you talked you just seemed very genuine and it didn't seem like scripted and like this is what I'm going to say is like I followed this narrative it was just like you're good it didn't feel like all over the place it kind of had some type of form yeah, timeline um, well thank you I, I appreciate that I think uh, I think the most important part of it or the part that really stuck out for me was your before and we're looking at you right now, we're seeing this man in front of us, and you showed us your before video, and it was just, well, not really before, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And it was so inspiring, like, oh, that could be me, you know? Yeah. You could be me, I could be you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really, it's really inspiring, and it just, it makes Oscar. me, yeah, see, Oscar at six years, it makes me want to get up in the morning. That's <laughs> awesome, that's so cool, thank you, thank you. Uh, like, uh, I'll end the video on this. Like, one thing that um, someone told me too at, at the last school was something similar. Like, well, it was just so cool to meet you because, like, you're just like a dude like me. And, like, the first thing I can think of is, like, yes, like, that's what I want everyone to know that, like, I am not one ounce or percentage more special than any of you. 
Like I didn't do anything different. I didn't like find a magic bean. I didn't like, <laughs> make a deal with the devil. You know what I mean? Like all I did was I did my best to be as authentic as I could. And I tried to acknowledge when I was feeling bad and also, you know, acknowledge when I was feeling good. And I always kept trying to do more and more things that made me feel good. This makes me feel good. You know what I mean? And that's all I did. And like, you know, everybody here can do the exact same. <laughs> What's up? Go ahead. I was just gonna say I really liked the part where you said that you're not here to recite statistics You're here to change them. I feel Ooh. like I identify with that yeah. a lot as well because you know It doesn't really matter if it's like 60 or 70 percent like the point is we're trying to make like that number You know higher or lower. So. Yeah, totally. Definitely. Totally. <laughs> Last words. What's up? I also really liked what you said about waiting and how these changes one day you wake up and they are do just happen so you have to like really cherish the journey and I think that's a really hard thing to do but I really appreciated you saying that because so many people like even on YouTube are just like I can't wait for my beard like, <laughs> yeah it gets ingrained yeah I know it's true it's yeah true. I have some words on that like <laughs> 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 Like, it only took a year and a half on hormones to get to this point, and I do have some regret that I didn't uh, do as much like documentation uh, as I probably should have to try to look back on uh, all those changes and, and just all that time that the passed. accomplishment. Yeah, the, you yeah. know, like those hard times that you had, and you made it through those hard times. You know yeah, what I mean, it's really powerful. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, what's up? I really liked when, how when you were talking to like the firefighters and the police officers and the leaders in the community um, and using how far you've come to open the door for other people and how you discuss that. Oh, thank you. Thanks. This group is so beautiful, aren't they so beautiful? <laughs> thank you all for having me. Pittsburgh is a new home for me. I love it. See you. you got to get out of here. <laughs> What's going on? It's 11.20 at night. Um, I had a great time. The event went awesome. Uh, I'm just packing up my bag now, trying to get everything in order. And um, yeah, just had an awesome time. I'm feeling, feeling really good. I always get like a nice little rush after the, uh, the presentation. They just, you know, they last like, on average, it seems like three hours is the average time and everything. Um, went out with uh, Ashley and got some wings and a beer, so that was nice. A little, little fun meal in there. Packing up, gonna go to bed as early as I can. Gotta wake up at like 4.30 to catch the flight. 5.08 in the morning, waiting for Ashley to come, gonna go downstairs. Meet up with her, gotta catch my flight at 7, so here we go, another super early morning. I had some trouble sleeping last night, I really don't even know what time I actually got to bed, but uh, 